uh, you know, we have reached till this destination that we have come to the semi-final and within not a long time, we are going to have a final as well. That is going to be a very interesting uh, ball game. And let me tell you all that, you know, whether it is vice chairman or myself, wherever we have been traveling, meeting people, there is a lot of positivity has uh, positivity been uh, seen among the people. And the encouragement which people are carrying in their mind is unmatchable. Uh, you know, uh, the first compliments I would like to give it to all those participants who actually made one fact very clear is that, that you made the life simple. Right? Life simple in the sense that you have given confidence to many of the people in the entire process. Uh, that technology can be adopted at any given point in time at any age. That is simple and the strongest message you people have given. And this is actually driving the entire uh, ecosystem of the institute at present. Dear friends, it has been a very interesting and very amazing journey of the hackathons. We finished first semi-final and then we are on the second semi-final today. When we discuss this AI hackathons in every conferences or with many of the members, they are excited. And they are excited because they feel that this is an AI revolution which has been started in ICI by the AI in ICI committee. So let's start our uh, discussion. Over to you, Subhash Chandranji. Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, thank you for the uh, ICA and uh, AI in ICA committee, uh, Chairman Dayani Sarji, Unesh Sarji, and the panelists uh, and the, the juries uh, uh, for this opportunity. I'll share my screen and I'll uh, directly move towards the... Is my screen visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So today I'm going to uh, talk, take a topic on uh, email attachment uh, automation using Power Query, and also uh, do a data analytics, uh, data analytics, uh, the AI power data analytics with Genie Pro. So last time uh, in my presentation, I explained the uh, Genie Pro's capability and uh, tell how it can analyze the data. So today we are uh, taking a classic automation uh, with A for data analytics, how it will work in our real-time uh, activity. So I'll take two minutes to explain what we're going to see and then practically show you how it's going to work. So uh, straight away, so people might think, so what uh, we receive, so certainly what we are going to do with the email automation. So I'll uh, give you some few examples here. So one, most of us today on the corporate accounting teams, uh, the data, the ERP data are sent to IAN and the daily reports uh, sent to email. Right from tally, you can send an automated email, uh, ICS app or CRM. Uh, for example, for our month close process, uh, the goods received, but in, uh, invoice not account to GRI or data, uh, we might need it for uh, doing the month close uh, sales receivables, HR data for accruals. Uh, and uh, for example, the payment advice from the bank in uh, PDF, which we received for all the payments, uh, or the, all the amounts we received or all the payments we made. Uh, for example, from the client side, uh, we can ask them to directly uh, email it from the tally or the ERP itself so that it helps to have the data integrity. Uh, and uh, for multiple clients, we do it one time and then uh, it's automated for life. And uh, for example, from the vendor side or the consultant side, we did the TB BRC reports uh, today for the shipping bill and all those stuff. So BRC has to be taken by from the customer side or the client side. So um, automate these things uh, can see. So these are the few examples I can think of and mm, sorry, see it can be useful. Uh, uh, also, uh, sir, 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 there are certain cases where uh, I encountered uh, uh, to know all my uh, contact list in my email. So it is very difficult. Earlier, Microsoft had option to uh, export it. Today, it does not have directly. So these tools can help you to get the contact list as well. Uh, so first, how we do that, uh, access Power Query, uh, open an Excel, uh, use Power Query, uh, connect uh, your email, and then uh, filter attachments. Uh, this is how we are going to do. And uh, uh, how do you pass the data? So you have you can select, it. you can parse XLS, SX, XLSB, CSV, PDF. These are straight away you can uh, uh, identify and collect. And you can identify what kind of uh, information you want or you only need the metadata, everything you can uh, get it from there. 
So, uh, it, again, combine attachments, uh, make it standardized through power query steps, and then uh, you get the uh, unstructured data into a structured format or even multiple structured formats into a one single report. So then you have the power of uh, Genie, load the, your file, Excel file to Genie, and ask questions what you need, and then get the visualizations are solved uh, without uh, need to worry about uh, the uh, Excel formulas or stuff like that. So uh, these are the benefits. I'll directly, uh, quickly go through the practical uh, thing. So I'll open my Excel here. So uh, I'll just to minimize it because I just want to. So for example, whenever uh, we open an Excel file, uh, uh, if you, I mean, most of us now know how to go the here and uh, you take a blank query. In the blank query, uh, you have to copy paste. So because there are, uh, Power Query is available from 2013, uh, Excel 2013 onwards uh, in a add-in format. 2016 onwards are the standard uh, 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 feature. Uh, but still 2016 and 2019 and 2021 misses some features. Like uh, un, uh, in 2019 or 16, you cannot parse a PDF in the Power Query in Excel, but you can do it in Power BI, uh, Power Query in Power BI. Uh, but in Office 365, you can do PDF uh, parsing as well in uh, uh, Excel itself. But one feature, one thing we have to, we, I mean, I found it or uh, is available is uh, you can use those formulas uh, when you do in Power BI and just copy the formula here in Excel, even in 2016 format or 2019 Excel, it automatically works. It's it just uh, these uh, functions are not visible or available in the uh, older versions. So now any versions more than uh, 2013, we have this, uh, copy this uh, Excel dot exchange dot contents and uh, your email ID. It will ask you for, uh, uh, for example, I will show you here. Uh, it asks you for edit credentials. So once you uh, uh, create your, quickly your Microsoft account and uh, you sign in or give the specific ID to sign in, it it, 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 it will be signed in. Uh, for Gmail and other things also, it can be uh, done. So now uh, what happened here is, uh, so once, we come here, your email will be shown like, so your mail, uh, calendar, uh, contacts, and tasks, daily tasks, what you have, you can see here. So all we need to uh, interested today is the email. So I navigate here and uh, get the email. So every email from every folder uh, will be uh, shown here. Uh, you can see, I have, uh, this is my uh, sample email, uh, which you can see what are the folders I have in email. Then from there, uh, you can go right and uh, go to the uh, every section you can expand uh, uh, cc recipients uh, so i wanted the context i also got that then you can you can expand the attachments so there are four uh, column headers which says attachment you can expand it and then you 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 can filter only the uh, here i have said uh, one particular uh, client name and to uh, filter the attachments from that client and then uh, uh, you can see that particular email alone uh, identified and then I have filtered the XLS format, which format has to be uh, filtered here. So you can go here uh, and then uh, uh, filter here. I'm not doing it right away because the time takes is, uh, uh, we need to be, I mean, it has to be considered. So I'm just showing you how we can do it here. So you can select the formats and then again, uh, I'm selecting a uh, specific table rows. And then finally I'm expanding here. You, it will it will expand that particular attachment what data it has so it will show all the sheets available and then uh, uh, you can specifically select uh, uh, the, the the specific sheet what we want so once it is done uh, it can be loaded uh, into the table so now we can see here uh, this is a GRI report which i mentioned in my presentation one of the uh, use case which i wanted to take uh, it says the document number this is a dummy report so it says what is the vendor uh, so this is like I received the goods, but I had to uh, book the invoice. Uh, so the goods entry is received. So it has this report. Now what to do? Uh, the first benefit is once we do this every month, uh, month close, all I have to do is come here to this file, refresh and do it. So as everybody, the panel said, in the first time implementation, we have to ensure uh, the data is correct manually check and also you can have some sample uh, checks uh, uh, as total things and you can manually verify in, uh, every time just to spend in rather spending one day I can spend 10 to 15 minutes ensure the data is uh, all the data is coming and mm, to my experience I'm using a power query for almost a decade now and uh, once it is done unless, uh, is, uh, oh thank you so uh, it will not uh, 
uh, it, it doesn't have any issues so far. So what we can do is straight away uh, load this to the uh, uh, genie. Just a second. So once we come to genie page login, uh, it will show the uh, basic uh, conditions. And then I'm uh, uploading the file. Sorry, the file is in open. Load. So I will select the query five, which I have done here. So it will show the uh, first five lines for uh, understanding with along with the headers. So I have, uh, in the interest of time, I have uh, typed the questions which I want. So basically, I want to know the aging. Uh, what are, how many invoices are not, uh, uh, I mean, how many store entries which does not have the invoices accounted. So it gives me uh, the chart. And also I can ask it uh, in a table uh, format as well. So this is real time. So I can see it in a table format as well. So there are other things where which I want to, so by vendor type, uh, I need to understand is there any vendor type which has uh, exception, so which gives me uh, the vendor type wise uh, data uh, as well. So I wanted to know invoice category. So what are the type of invoice category and uh, uh, provide me, in a, I can say so in a table. So this is just natural language. We need not worry about uh, too much of formulas to know about what is this. So this A uh, powered uh, thing will help me. So uh, this is the invoice category and in which the amount is there. So we, Fine, this is uh, so this is what I want to say. It's not just about the email, but we, our day to day activity is in done with email. So it helps in a lot of ways to standardize as well as uh, save the time. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you, Subha Chandran for your uh, uh, demo on the data Jenny. And uh, now I will request uh, our juries with Subha Chandran. Thank you, Mish. Right. <laughs> so um, basically, there were two parts to your presentation. One yep. was extraction of data from uh, the uh, using Power yes. Query, which you yourself said since you're using for the last ten years, you are very familiar with. For us, it's a bit cumbersome. But uh, nonetheless, then you use that data and uh, use the other tool, which was Power Genie, to extract reports in various forms. That was the main AI part which you wanted. Yes. So one question to you is that I think the data input need not only be Power Query. If I have data in Excel, any again, Excel. this tool would probably be any Excel. Any, any Excel, XLSB, uh, CSV files, it can, it can load. And even if the data is in some tabular form, say in some software in SQL or something, again, that would also be accessible yes. by this Yes, tool. yes. So the data format is irrelevant. If we have the data and use this tool, we can analyze it in various ways. Yes, yes. It's a, uh, any tabular format, rows and columns with headers is enough. It, it can be database. So uh, the online version has uh, uh, excellent uh, things only for uh, connecting to the database uh, there is a uh, uh, customer corporate version we have to do, custom corporate version we have to do. okay thank you hi subha yeah. uh, so my query is actually can we uh, since you exposed the email uh, data content to us actually mm -hmm. how we can the data and get out some results out of this little bit audible please i mean hello you shown the email data actually. Yes. Okay. So can we even integrate the chat GPT with the email data and actually extract some other information out of this? Is it possible? Uh yes. So uh, see, uh, we I'm have you tried just out of box question actually. Have you no, no. I I I appreciate it. I'm restricting to go to chat GPT because of the concern. Uh, emails has more personalized SPI or BI informations. So we use in-house uh, the Excel, uh, your your system data, your uh, Excel is uh, in your local uh, file. So you do that, it, it passes whatever the data you want it. It's very simple. 
uh, uh, it will do that. Then once we have the data, then we move to Genie where uh, uh, they also say that it is uh, data is not sent to LLMs. So it's, it's within the right. Giving the interface with the chat GPT or when the intermediary is uh, incorporated so we can extract the data and data then we can Yes, yes, because large data, um, uh, because email is fine, but when we get into data site, the file can be bigger and it cannot be put into a GD site and the data security is the another concern. Uh, the good thing is it can do even with PDFs and uh, whatever the things which we need, which is in a uh, printed format, in it can uh, be parsed. But you cannot rule out when Google itself is working on number of things, so they, they can give the access in near future to extract the data and uh, explore Obviously, it. technology is evolving day by day. What I'm saying today it might not be relevant tomorrow, definitely. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Saurabh? Yeah. So, Shubha, as an as a, uh, a decent presentation on uh, how to use data analytics tools and all. But I always believe that uh, um, something which is very important and very relevant with using these kind of uh, data genie and other tools as well mm -hmm. is prompt engineering. So you have hmm. to tell what kind of queries and how the queries needs to be framed out. What are the keywords that needs to be inputted in the query so that we get the relevant data or relevant information out of this. So, uh, yes, uh, but here, uh, the knowledge is restricted to the table and, uh, natural language, uh, can be even very simple. need not be very specific. Even say, for example, it, uh, the table has revenue. I can say sales, uh, it, it uses the. Uh, natural language processing and uh, uh, do the correcting. So the prompt engineering is taken care by the uh, data genie. So we can be ourselves normal. Okay. Okay. That's